Hello, and welcome to another episode of Draw Toys. This is, I believe, our third episode now, uh, and the first episode with an actual number on it. So this yeah. is officially number... episode number one. Um, so, as always, though, it is not just me doing this drawing challenge, because that would be a bit weird. I am joined with three guests. Uh, Tim. Hello. Tom. Right. And Dan. <laughs> hey. Tom Every always has the most Tom like. Tom like he wants to kill himself. Yeah, t- Tom's <laughs> got a very like passy right. kind of he, thing. He sounds like Carl Pilkington. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I mean, that's it, what I'm going for. It, it's it kind of find. it kind of feels to me like sort of he's a celebrity and like his agent has signed well, him up for this like half hour interview and he's like, yeah, okay, whatever, and he's just he's just here to give like the really vague basic answers of like, yeah, no, it was great, well, thanks. As I was saying, Red, I just wanted to draw chimpanzees, but you're not letting me. Well, so. no, so we've had a discussion about this, and the reason we're discussing chimpanzees in the first place is because today, uh, and next episode, as you can probably tell from the uh, title of this episode, is going to be a bit of a special one, as we are doing Draw Toys, as usual, but we are theming it slightly around the charity of Movember. Um... So I'll put some info in the description below, but just a very, very brief rundown of Movember. It's a charity um, that is aimed at sort of prostate cancer and mental health and stuff for men. It's every November, it's kind of like a kind of social thing where guys grow moustaches. Girls can join in too. It's harder to grow moustaches, but you know, they, they can give it a try. And yeah, basically, it's kind of like a charity thing, and I thought, well, hey, this kind of themes it around the episode as well. So today, we are going to be drawing characters, but I specifically looked for characters that have moustaches. So before we get into that, though, I am going to put up the rules for Draw Toys on screen right now. So there's three very simple rules. First off, I will post an image that all of us view and take in. Next, we have three different time frames, 30 seconds, 2 minutes and 10 minutes to draw that character. It doesn't have to be accurate, um, so long as it is that character, any kind of creativity is encouraged. And at the end, we'll then present it to ourselves and each other and add a title for it. So every piece needs to have a title. Uh, and obviously this episode, every character featuring in it will have a moustache in it. So no chimps, apparently. No, so the the chimp argument uh, came to pass where Tom wanted to draw chimps, but uh, as I did point out, uh, not to bring the whole empirical biological fact here, but uh, one of the areas the chimps do not grow hair on their bodies is indeed around their mouth, which makes moustaches quite difficult to grow, I think we can all agree. Uh, Right, so are you guys ready for moustache character number one yeah, I don't know why I'm still in the spooky ends <laughs> yeah we're past that now so I'll be going through my folder now today I've got a bit of a different rule set that I haven't told you guys about so usually the method by which we go is a scale of difficulty from one to five one being a really easy character five being a really difficult character today however all I have is two folders and oh. each of those folders has eight characters inside of them so i'm not going to tell you what differentiates these two folders all i'm going to ask you is to choose between the two um so i've got the folder up um so i'm going to ask dan this time because i believe uh, tim and tom chose last time dan shall i choose folder one or two I'm going to go for two. Two it is. All right. And for fairness, the next uh, drawing we'll do will be from folder one. Uh, Right. So we've asked Dan. I'll cycle through to Tom now. Tom, pick pick a number between one and eight. Hey, Jim, I bet it's a chin. Number six. (laughs) 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 All right. Wow. Right. I'm going to post it into our Discord as we speak. All right, it is being uploaded right now. So, character number six in this folder of mustachioed people is the classic himself. Oh, wow. That, 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 that is 
very appropriate. Uh, honestly, out of all of the characters I'd kind of chosen, kind of impressed, Tom went with the kind of flagship character there, basically. Yeah, uh, definitely, I mean, definitely the first character I'd actually think of. When yeah. I think of great moustaches, I think of, you know, Tom Selleck, you know, and Mario. Yeah. Um, I So I've kind of tried to go for a bit of a variety as well in terms of moustaches. We may see a bit of that throughout mm. this. But anyway, our task now, uh, if you all are ready, is to go and draw Mario in 30 seconds, 2 minutes, oh. and 10 minutes. Um, just for a bit of clarity, uh, you three will be using Microsoft Paint, I believe. Is that correct? Can confirm. And I'll be using Ibis Paint X. Uh, right, well, we're going to go off and draw for the next 12 and a half minutes, and we'll see you guys shortly. Right. Okay, we are back. We have all created incredible pieces of artwork, <sighs> uh, the likes of which the world has never seen. So, as always, uh, we're going to post them now. Uh, we're going to give them titles... And then we'll all judge each other, judge ourselves, and you guys can judge us as well. So is everyone ready to get over the uh, the various forms that Mario has taken over the years? Sure. Uh, right. Easy. As with precedent, I shall I shall post first. So first one I call he <laughs> it's a me Mario. <laughs> 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 he looks a bit mischievous. He's like, hee 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 hee. He's up to no good, that man. Yeah, it, his yeah. eyes are turned up and the moustache makes him look like he's smiling, I guess. I mean, it kind of looks like Mario, but that's just because Mario's got a moustache and a red hat. That's all you need to know. Right, next up, I call my next piece. Wahoo! You'll see why in a second. Oh, because Wahoo. Mm-hmm. I like uh, it, that. It's very yeah, subtle. Yeah, I like that. That's really good. It it's all right, yeah. It like I it turned out a lot better than I thought. Um, I wanted it to kind of look like an inspirational poster, but I didn't have the time. I don't uh, know. It's looking more like a uh, a communist. Uh... <laughs> yeah, a, a little bit. It basically I wanted like red gradients and like wahoo to be a little transparent in the background, but I I had two minutes. Yeah. Oh, you know, like when uh, Barack Obama. Um posted that remember that hope uh, thing <laughs> yeah. oh yeah it's yeah wahoo. Wahoo. <laughs> wahoo uh there we are well this i i hope everyone considers following mario's political party um and the last one i call may i offer you a mushroom ma'am try it try it time really good that is really good uh, it, oh, it's all right. Like his, his face, his face doesn't look right, and his hair's a bit too like well, fluffy. Well, he needs a haircut. He needs a haircut, basically. Yeah. But I'll, I, I, uh, I think that's really good, Red. I, uh, yeah. I. Um, it's all right. I, I, you it's know. A thumbs up. Okay. Well, thank you. It's. Um, I was gonna try and do like a cooler background because part of me kind of wanted it to look like him from Smash, but. I no, I was I was a bit You do too... love the uh, Toy Story background. <laughs> yes. Up a lot. Yeah. Uh whenever I'm lost for anything else, uh a bright sky in some clouds. Randy oh. Newman will be scoring the uh Yeah. yeah. Got a mushroom. Uh, Eating it. Then I'm big. Thanks, Dan. Gonna right. eat some more. I think uh <laughs> beautiful. So yeah, I could that was if you present right, well, it to Pixar, uh, they put in a film. I feel like in the editing process, um, instead of editing out awkward pauses, I will just extend one after Dan's song, just for just a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> th- thanks, Dan. Though that was that was very nice. Right, who who would like to offer up their artistic contributions next? Yeah, go on. All right, Tom, what do you call your first piece? I call this uh, Decomposed Mario. Oh, 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 that looks like that picture of Squidward. <laughs> I don't or, know what you mean, yeah. Or like, 
it, yeah, kind of like uh, well, basically, I can see that as being like a boxy fight in Luigi's mansion. Because <laughs> it's it just like a stretch Armstrong as well. Yeah, it, honestly, it could be interpreted as a lot of things. I I applaud you there, Tom. It's <laughs> it's a picture that lets the audience decide what they see. Uh, let me know in the comments below, actually, what you see when you look at this picture. <laughs> Just okay, there. the second one is called Have You Seen This Man? Do Not Approach. <laughs> oh, 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 dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. <laughs> he looks like he's wearing an adult version of a baby grow. <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a onesie. <laughs> it's the eyebrows. It's the eyebrows. He's looking like he's. He's looking nice. from behind and going, hmm, nothing to see here. Yeah, he looks I like imagine... he's doing some shady shit he does not want you to see. You go down like an alley in New, New Donk City, uh, <laughs> you see him. And and he'll, like, he'll tell you, like, what? Yeah, I'm Mario. Of course I am. Hey, uh, <laughs> give me 50 quid, uh, 50 dollars. It's like, why do you... 50 donk dollars. Why, why, do you, why do you need all that money, Mario? Don't you collect coins? Uh... Yeah, but you know, Mario's picked up a heroin addiction. <laughs> and it's it's Jesus. just it's just a man in he a onesie. He obviously refers to himself in third person. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, uh, Mario does. I call this last one uh lightly sunburnt. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> he has not got an Italian complexion. <laughs> here's a, okay, so here's a bit of advice for all, all viewers. Um, if by chance your skin tone happens to match this man's, please seek immediate, uh, immediate <laughs> medical assistance. He, lo he, lo he looks like he, he looks like you know he looks like the halfway stage between Mario and a rat animal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I also like obviously. Uh, presumably because you kind of were running out of time, but I like the fact that his shoes look like he just put gloves on his feet <laughs> because they're the think. same color. It's just like, well, I don't have any shoes, but I can just like tie these gloves together. Mario is really tall, I feel, <laughs> but I will say, uh, if, uh, picking positive stuff out of this, um, thanks, Dan. The 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 colours you used were correct. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them were correct. Yes. Most were correct. Kind of rushed. Um, that was a thirty-second job. Oh wait! Why does he oh, have two? He has he has five fingers on one hand, probably four on the other. Right. No judgment. It's also, no judgment. just question. Can, can I recommend? Can I recommend an alternate title for this? Go on. Mario too much sun sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, that's a fake. <laughs> he looks like he's twisted one of his legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like... <laughs> it looks like a really bad like figure you'd buy in Poundland. Oh. Oh Jesus. That that oh, is like... that's great though. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thank uh, you, Tom. Yeah, that that is that's amazing. <laughs> I'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> looking forward to your guys' contributions then. Right. Who okay. who wants to contribute next? Okay, I'll go. Okay. What's the name of your first piece, Daniel? Uh my first piece is called Mario One. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That, that is cute. Like I don't know why exactly, but that is really it. It looks like a a sort of a turtle from a children's like book, dressed as Mario or maybe a builder, or like it no, looks... it it's that turtle from a children's book's dad who's on his way to work. I I was going to say it looks like it should be a character Bill Bill and Ben the Flower Pot Men or something. <laughs> I was getting halfway through like a popular franchise of movies. They're like, right, we need to make a, a marketable mascot character that every all the kids will love. Fat Mario. <laughs> it's Plummy. 
plummy. <laughs> the cute to- turtle plumber. He'd be like one of those, you know, like uh, uh, Scooby Doo had like Scrappy Doo. It'd be like Mario, yeah. and this will be um, another character. The one that everyone hates, like uh, is yeah. Poochie. Yeah. Poochie. <laughs> I like it, Dan. Uh, next one I call uh, Mario 2. Oh, Is there a theme with these titles? Because I'm, I'm picking up something subtle. Ooh. That's a big mustache. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. <laughs> wow, that like... You really that's went in on the mustache. here. <laughs> that's yeah. That's Yo, dastardly. that's like... It looks like he's sort of like caught a seagull in his mouth. <laughs> it's, 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 it's trying to like take off he's like no 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 more flying for you oh, impressive okay. for two minutes that is that he is looks nice. very bold as well like... <laughs> he does he looks like maybe Mario in 25 years I think we know where all of his hair growing has gone <laughs> it's like a lemon or something yeah yeah. Yet again, the eyes are quite cute as well. I don't know what it is, yeah, but like both of these, endearing. yeah, both of these do genuinely look kind of cute. So well done on that, Dan. <coughs> Crab hands. And the uh, next one. Oh, like, wait, uh, wait. Sorry, can we guess oh, the name of the next one? Go for it. Uh, Mario C. Oh, I was gonna go with Mar- um, Mario. Luigi Pur- F. Mario Purple. <laughs> no. This one is called Super Mario Galaxy. Oh, wow. <laughs> he looks happy. That's he really looks very good. Happy. I mean, <laughs> he's wearing a beret. Yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know what's going on with his hat. Also, this does strike me that maybe he is travelling through space, just not in real life, in his mind, after he's had a severe mental breakdown. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, the. The two continents of Earth. Because <laughs> yeah. he does look a little bit out of his mind. I mean, you'd be too if, if you ate a mushroom. Oh, I was literally about to say, well done everyone for not making the obvious mushroom joke. Oh. No, Dan's ruined it. <sighs> Dan, go on. <laughs> I mean, oh. also, his, his arm span is incredible. <laughs> to uh, to quote a um, to quote a inspirational YouTuber, he looks like he could tie his laces while standing up. In space, no one can hear you. Wahoo! I'm with his cheeks, but they're very they're very bony. But one is big at the same time. It's better if you open it up, and it's big. <laughs> he looks too rich. <laughs> the longer oh. I look at it, the weirder it gets. Like, it looks <laughs> kind of normal to begin with. Oh. But now I'm seeing details. Like, what's going on with the ear? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> One of his pupils is like much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> also I, I hate to bring it back to uh, Tim's previous point, but his hands don't match in terms of fingers either. One of them's got like a table mirror on it. <laughs> yeah, it's like what is <laughs> This Mario has seen a lot of stuff and uh <laughs> Yeah, definitely uh, it gets weird as you look at it. Also <laughs> Oh my god. I need to commend him. He's used the spray tool. Uh yes. deserves clean. Also, I'm presuming, yeah. Dan, you were looking at the cover of three uh, Mario three D All Stars for inspiration? Uh, ye- well, Super Mario 64, but yeah, yeah, I was looking what? at that, and then... Don't you mean okay. Galaxy? What? No, but that's the powers in... I, I, get, I get what he means. It's the oh, oh, Mario 64. Right, okay. And, and then, uh, and then halfway... Angle. Shoot in your joke down the red. And then halfway through, I was like, oh, wait, uh, I... I I'm not gonna draw the entire detail. So then I thought, hey, what if what if I just do a planet and some stars and? Well, it's yeah. close enough. Uh, part of me wants to replace your user image the rest of this podcast just with the <laughs> zoom in of Mario's face because. Uh... Mm. 
<laughs> yeah. Go for oh, it. that's amazing. Thank you. That that wow. That oh, thank you, Dan. That's oh man i'm so glad because i thought it was going to be boring i was like oh mario is such a dull character we're not going to get anything good out of this but fuck me i was wrong jesus christ <laughs> right tim uh it's it's your go i mean oh, i don't know how i'm gonna follow that up <laughs> the first one i like to call uh, a spicy meatball oh 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 man he oh what is... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's, there's a there's a line of toys years ago, that were kind of like gross toys from the dumpster, and like they were all like. You mean garbage fail kids? No, 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 no. Oh. It, it's like it was like a boys' toy from the mid two thousands. And they and... come in like slime, wouldn't they? Uh, the yeah, some, something like that, and they were all It'd kind be of like, like bins. Yeah, like this is trash bag Kenny, or like this yeah, is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Garbage. The, the pale no. kids and then they had cards of it i'm pretty sure but yeah then... it not quite though garbage pale kids is more I think, different yeah, thing try... i think i know what you're talking about like when yeah it's kind of like a british tea gone garbage pale kids kind of yeah it's like i remember seeing like adverts when i was like i don't know it, i don't like... know how you're getting that though he looks fine <laughs> I mean, e- either that, or I was going to say, either that, or it looks like someone was trying to draw Peter Griffin, but realised they had to make a video game. <laughs> <laughs> and like... Oh, Lois. <laughs> you think that's bad. Remember the time I was Mario? And then... <laughs> <laughs> but like, also... <laughs> <laughs> because the moustache isn't coloured in, it just looks like they're massive broken teeth. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking it was like a country bumpkin and like Oh my god. Oh I can't even see you that now. It's like a <laughs> chin with the if, if you look at it as if the um the, 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 the bottom bit the, the mouth is a chin and the mustache is his mouth. It kinda of looks like Barney from Simpson. A a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, he is... I thought that was a chin, and then I realised now that you said it's a smiley face, it's... <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course it is! Oh, oh, that's... that's amazing. Oh, do you remember the McDonald's advert where the chicken nuggets all had faces and there was like a group of them? <laughs> chicken nugget Mario. It was, it was very short-lived, <laughs> but it, it kind of just looks yeah. like the tie-in with McDonald's and Nintendo. Right. Me. The second one I call It's a him, a Mario. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that I mean he looks oh, he looks a little bit shady, not gonna lie. I think smug, a little bit smug. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and, and also it kind of looks like either he's wearing a baseball cap or a rain cap. <laughs> Something about yeah. him looks like a pizza delivery. Yeah, oh, I He's thought one of volumes. Like he works in McDonald's behind the counter. Yeah. Yeah, he uh. he looks like sort of. Oh, I, I don't know. He he still looks a bit shifty to me. Like sort of your your pal that you met like at the bar once. We don't really know his name or anything, but he comes along to like the fancy dress party. He's a weird guy. Or the hat with an M on it. I don't know what it means. We all knew them and he's me. Wow. It's like. And then, do you want to know what it means? M is for murder. <laughs> Jesus. He looks like he's going to come up to you at, like, the edge of, like, a university party in the Union and be like, mate, you want some cat? <laughs> hey, you want a one-up? Do you hey, know. good? Oh, look. Look, we need to stop making these jokes. <laughs> They're bad. No, no, no all, right. all right, fine. It's like M is for Margarita. Hey, you want a fire you flower? Fall in the direction of that. <laughs> I've seen. <laughs> I keep, keep seeing that meme. It's like, oh, you know, people say video games make you violent, but I played Mario growing up, and he popped mushrooms, and you don't see me taking uh... loads of magic mushrooms. I uh... mean, yeah, that I know of anyway. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so uh, my last one <laughs> didn't mean to go in this direction, but I, I call it Super Mario Sadness. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh. I, I don't know why, but I saw it draw me and he just looked <laughs> sad, so I just rolled with him. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm, oh I'm, re God. I'm really liking the letter from Peach. It's like paper, no. like a Paper Mario uh, 3. And I, I, like how, I like how he's got, like, I'm leaving you and I'm taking the kids and Yoshi. Well, who gets custody that's, of Yoshi? That's too much. That is too much. <laughs> what? Well, I kind of wish that I'd gone before Dan, because my last one kind of looks like the precursor to Dan's one. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've had enough of this world. I'm off, guys. Woo! Oh, God. I, All I... I'm going to say is, like, Peach may have left you, but, you know, there's plenty more fish in the sea. There's better women out there. Uh, Bowsette. Oh, oh. I thought you were going to go down um, Cheap Cheeps or Bloopers. Uh, oh. Fish in the sea. <laughs> oh, the thing you could do with a blooper, man. Okay. See, I, uh, going on from what Tim said, I was hoping he'd go for like a Dr. Manhattan route and like he'd make a crystal palace out in Mars and then decide to make his own world. <laughs> what? Maybe. His own world, a <laughs> Super Mario world. I, I also like I know it's because maybe you didn't have time to colour or whatever, but it looks like he's wearing his dungarees, but he's shirtless underneath. He, <laughs> oh, no. Like he's maybe basically he he's had enough and he's just like he's he's five cans into the night and he's like I'll wear the dungarees but I'll wear nothing else. <laughs> it's Mario stripper. Oh, oh it's okay, Mario. I'm sorry, Mario. I... He's just he's just drunk another, you know. Small Dry your eyes, mate. <laughs> oh, no, He's looking no, at the no. needle <laughs> in the belt. Oh, and then, you know, Dan's picture. And then he's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's so. I mean, really, right? Hang on. If we slightly change it around, right? So we've got, if we put my image first, right? Here's Mario. He's, he's the hero. He's got a, like a mushroom he's gonna save the day and like he gets so popular that he's like i need to reinvent myself and so like he gets tan and he tries to sort of like get buff <laughs> and a bit taller and stuff he sort of slims down and uh you know he becomes popular but peach just doesn't appreciate it anymore he's not the same person so she leaves him and uh on the brink of madness mario sort of wanders around <laughs> at night and just imagines himself flying in space. Yeah. Finn. Finn. Well, thank you very much for watching. No. Uh, <laughs> right. Well, there we are. That that was our that was our contribution to the Mario fan art community. Um, I will be making a Pixiv account just to upload all of these onto that. That's a joke, obviously. Uh, shout out to everyone who knows who Pix what Pixiv is. It's that fan art thing. Japan. Uh, right, so we've got our second mustachioed person. Uh, so, because both Dan and Tom have chosen, if I'm correct, yeah, uh, it is up to Tim now. So I'm going to open up the other folder uh, okay. just for some equality. So, as with the previous one, I have eight entries in this folder as well. And all I want you to do is choose between one and eight. So I'm going to go seven seven it is all right then uh so i'm gonna post this person in chat right now oh <laughs> my all right so uh oh. <laughs> on the other on the other side of uh on the other side of mustaches kind of less uh less well kept uh slightly wilder hey. is of course oh, oh oh i didn't even think of that but yeah. Oh wow! Was that okay. no? It genuinely wasn't intentional. Uh, uh, is everyone's favorite early two thousands, late nineties icon? Yeah, yeah, Nigel Thornbury from the Wild Thornburys. Now he made a bit of a resurgence, so some of you younger viewers may recognize him from meme collaborations and stuff. But uh, yeah. He is also one of the first people that came to mind when I thought of mustaches. So, smashing. as smashing, smashing, 
Marianne. <laughs> so, as with last time, yet again, we are going to go head off for 12 and a half minutes to uh, create our rendition of Nigel Thornberry. And then we will be back to present to you our pieces of artwork. Stick around. All right, so we are back. We have spent some time with Nigel. And we have all come away with some incredible pieces of art we all can't wait to share with you. So, is everyone ready to unleash these uh, artworks unto the world? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, as, as usual, I shall post first. I call the first one Synthwave Nige. Oh, it looks a little bit like Eggman. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. He's kind of—he's very low poly, kind of just sort of. Uh, unfortunately, I'd set my brush tool to like way too big thickness wise, uh, and I didn't have time to go back. So he's, you know, or oh, it looks like maybe like I don't know, maybe it would be like an icon of a really obscure YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. See that. Uh, right. So the second one I call. Oh dear. Oh dear. He's done it again. <laughs> it kind of looks like an anti drugs advert. <laughs> oh dear. You don't want to end up like Nigel. Well, so I started like colouring in the last like 20 seconds, and unfortunately, I left gaps out and I couldn't think of anything, so I literally wrote. What I was oh, thinking. No, no, I could just imagine, right? He's like they're they're deep in the woods, uh, no, in the jungle, and uh, Nigel takes ayahuasca or something, and he's like, "Oh dear, it's yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Eliza, help!" <laughs> Smashing. Also, a lot of these references are going to be completely lost on anyone who didn't watch the Wild Thorn Breeze, so kind of sorry. Didn't watch the Wild Thorn Breeze. Wow. Gotta remember, Tim, that was like 20 years ago now, so... Yeah, that is true. It was a long time ago. Uh, right. And my third one is is titled, A New Challenger Approaches. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. unfor yeah. unfor a smashing debut. Yes. so un unfortunately i i filled in the background but because there's gaps in some of the letters it like uh, blanked out a lot of the letters so uh, I'm, I'm gonna maybe like touch it up in post and i'll put the finished image like here quickly just to show you guys what it was aiming for it's only that you've posted that one that I realised the one before it wasn't white. <laughs> like, I literally did oh. not notice. And oh, I was yeah. Like, oh, what does he mean he hasn't filled it in? It looks fine. It's yeah. Just, it's I, but, oh, yeah, that is all pink. Having looked at, like, a picture of Nigel, I was like, oh, wait, yeah, he's very, like, very dark pink and stuff, where I went for, like, weirdly high tan, so... But yeah, yeah, I. That, I that's fantastic, though. I, I, thanks. I, I was <laughs> honestly, I spent a good like minute while drawing. Like, what would be a good pun? What would be a good pun? And I was like, smashes in wouldn't work really. And it's like he's got to say smashing, and it's like. Also, that's... technically, G is off the screen, but whatever. I would mean. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying, uh, Sakurai, if you're watching, who am I kidding? Sakurai, uh, you are watching. I know. Uh, consider it, you know. Yeah, I know he hasn't been in a game technically, but come on. Give yeah, make an exception. Go on. We're, we're pals. Must have been a Wild Thorn Breeze game. Uh, on the Game Boy Advance. Probably. Or, or like a Cartoon really... Network kind of thing, maybe. Uh, um, I have, you know, it's Nickelodeon. That was it. Sorry, Nickelodeon. Oh, yeah, definitely then. Nickelodeon's had loads of games, like Cart Race. Yeah, wait. I think he was in a Cart Racer. There we go. Oh, God. Smash it, anyway. I think, yeah, I feel like I saw something. Him and I think Eliza, and I think like the monkey is his super power up or something. Oh, yeah, the monkey oh, talks. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, see, there's, a, there's our monkey reference at the episode. There we are. Hey. Always trying to hey. sneak a monkey reference in here at Draw Toys. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, well, um, there we are. Who wants to go next? Shall I go again? Second? Yeah, certainly. Okay, so the first one I call 
that old man from Hey Arnold. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! Oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> you know what I'm on about, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, I wonder, is it the same makers, Krayers? Well, Nickelodeon, yeah. They're both well, Nickelodeon, but yeah, like yeah. was it, was it the series creator? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. They have I a... think the wild phone breeze person did all people. It was like a couple, I think. I think they did the Rugrats as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. yeah. Oh, uh, Klasky Chupo. Klasky Chupo. Klasky Kaspo. Yeah, like yeah, that. that's yeah. it. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I think. Um, Very prob- talented. Well, and probably the show had a really hold up. Yeah. Well, I know for sure that Helga would reject Arnold and go for this guy. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't. Exactly. He look at that. Uh, probably oh, knows, God. but it's hard to tell. Um, I was actually quite pleased with what I did in two minutes, but if I had a minute mm. more, it would have been great. Uh, what should I call it? Floating heads. Oh. Okay, yeah. Mm. Some things of a Nigel. Yeah, I could that... tell. I would definitely say that is Nigel Thorpe. Yeah, I had that's to rush really it, but it was getting there. Yeah, absolutely. Honestly, like a bit of colouring in and stuff, and you know, like you've basically got Nigel there. Yeah, that's really good. Well done, Tom. So the last one, again, I needed more time, but uh, I call Peg in. I oh oh wow. Wait, what's oh. um, uh, I I if I had more time, I'm sure I could have. Made... Are you gonna have to like? I'm. <laughs> what's going on it. there? Uh, I know. I think I know what it is, but. It looks like she's wearing like a chastity belt. It is a chastity belt. <laughs> no, no, it was, it was, a, it was attempted a strap on, but I just couldn't. Why is it, it so big on the end? <laughs> How the it's fuck is he gonna get that in? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Nigel himself does look to be quite, um, quite surprised as well. So he um, does. Um, I love her legs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> also, like, well, well done on the faces there, Tom. Because, I yeah, yeah. Genuinely, I yeah. forgot what she looked like, uh, his wife, and like, d- just looking at that, I was like, oh, that's exactly what she looks like. There's sort of, there's sort of <laughs> GG there. Ch- I wanted to dress him up as like a pig and go, look, Mary Ann, I'm a pig. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and have her in the background, like. Staring on with a strap on. <laughs> Jesus, why is that where your head went to? I'm worried. Uh, I, I, I reckon. I reckon they need to spice the marriage up occasionally. And well, maybe that's it's... where it leads. I mean, think of it. They're, they're constantly going in the jungle and all these. Yeah, infections. yeah, but like, oh, this... isn't that not spicy? You know? Yeah, but that's what I mean. They're always doing that. They need to hit the next level. You know, eventually that gets boring. Looking for wild creatures. I mean, I don't um, think I'm going to sleep tonight. <laughs> watching the kids. Debbie? You can't trust Debbie with the kids while they have a sexual encounter. Uh, what, I... what about the... Uh, who's the monkey? What's his name? Darwin. Darwin will look after them. It's fine. Darwin can't even look after himself. Oh, it's fine. I believe in Darwin. All, no, all, you, like... uh, all you Darwin fans out there listening, uh, let me know in the comments. Big, big... Big monkey fans, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. Just, just hey, pull. another monkey reference. Hey, wow, wow we are that—that that is two for two right now. Yeah, oh, monkey God. episode coming up in the future. I promise you yeah. guys. Well, okay. I mean, hey, there's that is a theme. Uh, okay, right, thanks, Tom. Dan, I'll, would you uh, like? I'll go next. There we are. Um, so this one I called Smashin. Oh. Okay, he's. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I have seen him in Phasmophobia. Is he? Is he all right? Is he? Uh, he's. That's, that's a little bit terrifying. Is he? Is he okay, Dan? Because. Uh... I don't know. I I don't think. I don't think so. He's looking. He. He's seen better days. Like he's. He basically he's looking like you know when you catch up with someone you haven't seen in a few years. 
They're like, oh, hey, how's it going? And they just reply, like, completely without without thought. Like, yeah, not too good, really. That seems like a job. <sighs> yeah. Right, so what? <laughs> what's your two-minute <laughs> creation, Dan? Uh, this one's called Smash This. <laughs> okay, I... I mean, what's... So, sorry, what... What's going on with this under his left eye? Is that? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, meant to be. Plaster. Is that his that view? Was meant to be, yeah, that was meant to be his view. Right. And oh, okay. Right. I, I, I see. Yeah. I. I, yeah, I just... He does kind of look like he's just got in a fight. <laughs> Especially because <laughs> his left eye is looking up. Yeah. Like, well, it's like he's been punched in it, and that's why he's up there. Oh. I... <laughs> like a wild bear or something. I hope he's okay. I hope he's okay too. Uh, and fan finally, uh, this one I call I got him Super Smash Nigel, but it's nothing to do with Smash. Oh my lord! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, there you go. Okay. There's the trademark Dan surreal. Uh, that is yeah. very Dan. That's His eyes uh... kind of look. Um, what's that episode of The Simpsons where like? <laughs> Homer's on like a Japanese. Oh, oh, uh, Mr. Oh, Sparkle. Yeah, yeah, mm. Mr. Sparkle. Very Mr. Sparkle. Yeah. Very, yes. That he's, is. Uh, he's been on a lot of drugs. Come I mean, on. yeah, I was also going to say locking arms, so. That's fine. But, Has he know. been on the uh, one up mushrooms? <laughs> I, I will Sorry, say. Ben. I uh I will say out of all three entries so far, all three of us I think have drawn Nigel's face really well. Like, yeah, yeah. I I think it's absolutely testament to just how iconically and like interestingly he's drawn. In that, like, he's got a design, but you can mess it up and still look exactly like it. It's it's quite it's quite cool, really. I uh... yeah, I think that is a testament. <laughs> He's also got like a really like side boon going on in that one, which I do. Yeah, that's uh, damn bringing it back. Yeah, I uh, I I like the whole background of the recursive smashing, 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 <laughs> smashing, smashing. So yeah, very very nice. That thanks, Dan. That's well, I try. You definitely do. I don't think anyone can say you do not try with your art. <laughs> I just you know, the second one you posted from like the neck down kind of looks like he's wearing a maid outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh, the maid outfit on. It's fantastic. Oh. That, that that's getting googled. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, Nigel no. Thornbury made outfit. Safe search off. <laughs> made outfit. Okay, Tom is actually doing real time research here. Uh, <laughs> any results, Tom? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, someone's like, oh my god, what's this? Oh god, I t I don't know if you can put these up in post. I don't think you should. No. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll link one to you later, Red. Okay, yeah. Uh, definitely not going to be putting them on the YouTube video, but I appreciate it exists. Uh, right, Tim, we're on to you, I believe. Yeah, we're on to something completely different. Um, okay. First one I like to call Nigel Face Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh. Like, yeah, I've been trapped <laughs> in the dimension. <laughs> It's just his face. Nothing it's... else. He hasn't got a head. He hasn't got hair. It's kind of cute in a way. Sort of like, hi there. I you find it cute. I find it quite creepy, <laughs> terrifying. I don't like, know. I just. He's just a floating, um, floating face. Face. Well, I like it. I'd hang Thank it on the wall. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> 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 so the second one I call Nigel Shockberry. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Definitely a Jugong. 
I like that he is sort of like he, basically he, he's gained quite a bit of weight since. Uh... <laughs> he was never he was never a thin guy. Uh, no, no, but like right? his his face is very like angular and stuff. But now he's sort it, it of like, like he's filled it's... out. His face has been sucked somewhere. Like I, yeah. I, I panicked at the end, and I was like, "Oh, oh, oh I'm running out of time." So his neck kind of goes to the side <laughs> as necks do. Right? Yeah, yeah. It, you could have gone downwards. I, well, I don't know. I to panicked. be fair, this could be a continuation of Dan's, because Dan's yeah. got that really long neck. So yeah. maybe Tim just is zoomed Here in, is. or yeah, it could look like. Uh, you know, sort of like in animation, there's like um, it's like a perspective uh tool basically to make it look like people are in motion. There's a very famous Naruto screen cap of um Pain being sort of pulled, and his face kind of stretches to show that he's being pulled with great force downwards. Well, Red, it's very, very coincidental that you mention that because I call my third one Nigel Datibayo. <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's fantastic! That's uh... <laughs> he's going to become Hokage. Oh, that that's, is that's amazing. He's, he's he's gone down a different path. He has a very different path in all of our. Yes, I, I think uh, basically, so all of these are sort of like fan fiction canons of what happened to Nigel. So, uh... <laughs> so we no, actually, this, this is all one evening for Nigel. He's got a very exciting life. <laughs> he gets announced for Smash. Uh, to celebrate, his wife uh, suggests <laughs> they they spice things up a little bit. Uh, Nigel, however, has entered in a completely different plane of existence. In which case, uh, <laughs> final Smash. In which his corporeal form means nothing anymore. Uh, <laughs> and r- going back to reality, he turns to his wife and says, "Sorry, I have a village to lead." As he runs out and raising fighting spirits, plays as he. Uh... Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh... <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know. It's the one Naruto theme I know. The You're thinking of the... sadness and sorrow. Filthy it's... Frank video. I don't know. <laughs> it it's very nice though, Tim. Thank you for that. That's. Uh... Well, what what a roller coaster we have been on today. I think we have explored parts of our psyches that uh, really this is kind of like a group therapy session in a way. I agree. Um so before we start wrapping up, uh there is the thing that we didn't do last time just because of how long the the video went on for. Uh we do have the award ceremony if you oh, remember. Yes. Okay, so there are three awards that we will all uh, now vote on. As with the uh, last time we did this, obviously you can't vote for your own one. And we're just going to go with the third picture of each one, obviously. Um, So the first one, uh, the first category is Most Creative. Take a look at uh, all eight images here. Which one would you say is the most creative? I'm going to vote for Dan's night of work. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I was gonna yes, say the same. I, w- I was also gonna say, okay, there we are. Well, Dan, you have officially won the Draw Toys Most Creative Award for Episode 1. Yeah, smashing! Next up, we have the Most Improved Award. So, this one we do need to take into account the first and final drawing of uh, the things we've offered here. I need to come to a conclusion of what we think uh, became the most improved from the first draft to the last. Personally, I'm going to vote for your Mario, uh, Red. Okay. I was going to say Tom's Nigel Thornberry. Oh, I'm... sorry, Rich, 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 Nigel Thornberry, I meant. Sorry, I, I, oh. I did not mean Tom's. Tom's is fucking terrible. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, meant, yeah. I meant Rich, Nigel Thornberry. But either way, Rich. <laughs> Okay. Um, I personally am gonna go for Dan's Mario. Uh, I ooh, this is interesting. I'm gonna vote for myself. No, I'm not gonna vote. I'm gonna vote for Rids. I thought Rids, um, Nigel one was very good. 
Um, okay. So. Thank you. That means Rich Nigel won't very one. Nice. Well done, me. Well done, Rich. Uh, uh, and the third one is the You Tried uh, award, which is, you know, they, they were going for something, obviously. Uh, that's uh, the kindest uh, thing you could say. Definitely um, gonna go with Tom's oh. Mario for this one. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go uh, with Dan's Mario. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dan's Mario. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, Tom's Mario. Oh, Ooh, so it's a two for two. I don't know what to do in this situation. No Jesus one wants Christ! This award. Don't Not gonna award. lie. They both. Yeah. Win. Okay, you both win. Oh. There we are. If it's a tie, you both win. Uh, I mean, to be fair, right? Neither of them are bad kind of things. They're just there was clearly an issue in the execution <laughs> sort of like because t- Thomas ended up as Mario too much sunshine and Dan ended up with <laughs> I don't even right. know how I describe Dan's Mario one. It's <laughs> it's transcendental. It's it's incredible. Ah right, well that wraps up episode one of Draw Toys. Uh, technically the Movember special. Um, and yeah, I I just like to very quickly shout out as well. Uh, just to repeat, if you check in the description below, I will leave you a link to the Movember website itself, and below that also my own Movember fundraising page. If uh, if you enjoyed this episode maybe consider you know donating a dollar or a pound that would go quite a long way honestly because even if a few people did that uh it does go to a very good cause it's about mental health and prostate cancer which you know affects a large amount of people so it it can only do good and stuff um and yeah thank you everyone for joining me to draw these images it's been very fun i think yeah, it's uh, and I think it's it's quite an interesting one because it's a bit a bit of a theme with facial hair, but there has been variety as well, and uh, I can guarantee that next episode there will be more variety again. Um, right, well that that about wraps it up, really. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching, and thank you everyone for joining us, and. We'll be back again in two weeks uh, with another Movember themed one. So, that's a threat. Get excited <laughs> for two more pieces of art featuring mustaches. Uh, right, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>